2018 promises to be a year of monumental shift in retail and design. We're here exploring these changes at America's Mart Atlanta. The theme of this year's vignette exhibition is The Great Reset, which features eight designer visions, all inspired by four trends as identified by WGSN, the Global Trend Authority. So join us as we delve into these new perspectives and enjoy the festivities at the annual White Party, which is a fan favorite. It's all underway here at the Atlanta International Gift and Home Furnishings Market. I'm Ariane Nardo, and you're watching Editor TV. So we are at the White Party in the midst of all this creativity, these vignettes. How are you taking this all in? It's a beautiful exhibition. Well, you know, up here on the 14th floor where they do the designer vignettes every market, what I think is so fantastic is they really select people from all over the country that are tastemakers, trendsetters, people that, even for me, we all follow and see what they're doing and selecting as the latest and hottest things, using products that buyers can see here at market. And what they do is pull it all together in a curated look that shows you as the buyer how to sell it to your customer. And I think that's really important. So you are no stranger to the vignette exhibition. How is this one and how is the experience of doing this over you know, the past? You know, I love working with the Mart. America's Mart, their team is just fantastic. And so it begins there. And it was a bigger space. We had a lot more to do. I felt like I had a few parameters, having to use a particular company and having to use outdoor, but I loved the challenge and it was really fun. And you may never get to design a space like this. That's what's wonderful about these vignettes because the mark's full of product that is fantastic. How did you go about selecting these specific digital influencers to participate? Typically for our vignette program, we work with interior designers, which we love, but we thought this would be a great opportunity to kind of reset a little bit in terms of how we partner with the influencers for this program. So we just did a lot of research on who we haven't worked with before, some good friends with the market as well, those who could really bring a range of design aesthetics. So I think we really accomplished that with this bunch. You have an amazing lineup of influencers, people from art, fashion, the culinary world. Tell us about that lineup. It's so important for us to bring together all these different avenues of what we do. We bring together the manufacturers, the retailers, the influencers, the designers. You have to be here and we're trying to create this experience at market where you can't miss it. You can't miss all this. So tell us a little bit about your space and talk about the trend that you were given to work with. Well, my trend was earthed. And so when I sat down and really thought about, okay, what is earth to me? I was immediately taken to my favorite place, which is wine country. And so I felt like what I wanted to do was take people to either like the south of France or Napa or even a beautiful garden in Charleston, um, which all have these beautiful, natural, calming, and really timely elements that have been there for hundreds and hundreds of years. So I wanted to make it calm, serene, and feel like my favorite place in the world. The idea of earth can mean different things to different people. Did you settle on a palette or were you more kind of thinking texture in the beginning? Uh, actually, a little bit of both. I mean, texture is really key to earth, like an earth concept, so it really was looking for materials that have like worn, wabi sabi, imperfect imperfection. And then I just gravitated toward these like pinkish grays and beiges because I think that's sort of like what's on trend these days. Tell us what inspired you to create this whole assemblage. My design aesthetic personally is really colorful and pattern filled. So I try to kind of in a more muted, darker way, kind of resemble my personal style, like embedded with the nocturne theme. So it was fun to do not as bright as I typically do, but do it like on a darker scale. When you were thinking Nocturne, which is one of the WGSN trends, how did you interpret that? I thought of a palette for sure, and then as I was walking around trying to get inspiration, I came across this triptych, and I was like, it's not necessarily Nocturne, but I can pull these dark, moody colors out of it and turn it into something within the theme. Do you have a favorite piece or maybe two favorite pieces in here? I definitely think it would be the arterior's light, and I do, I love the seatbelt chair. I think it's very iconic. You know, it's an unusual and it's a perfect way to recycle and repurpose. 
There's a specific vendor here called Avala, and all of the blue and white ceramic pieces are from them. We just walked into that that shop, and there was such an amazing feel to it. Um, and I know, you know, blue and white is obviously not new, but I think it's a classic that can be reinterpreted in so many kind of fresh ways. So for us, that was a great jumping off point. That's a wrap here at the Atlanta International Gift and Home Furnishings Market. We hope you've enjoyed this tour of the Great Reset Vignette Exhibition and the always fabulous annual White Party. For Editor TV, I'm Ariane Nardo. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.